This is CBS. Good afternoon from CBS News. This is Newsbreak. Election returns from India show Prime Minister Rajiv Gandhi winning big. Apparently, he will have massive control of the lower house of parliament. Complete returns will take several more days. One of four Polish secret policemen being tried for the murder of a pro-solidarity priest testified today that they couldn't have carried out the murder without the help of a special pass issued by high-level officers. Soviet and Chinese officials in Peking have signed pacts pledging agreement on economic, trade, and technological problems. But, lest that look like too much of a thaw, Peking published yet another attack on orthodox Marxism as out of date. The index of leading economic indicators went up 1.3% last month, hinting at continued economic growth in the new year. Now this. Smucker's gives you this much taste with only half the sugar of regular jams. Smucker's Low Sugar Spreads. Homeless street people came to Arlington National Cemetery today to see one of their own buried. Jesse Carpenter, a homeless alcoholic who froze to death near the White House. He was a decorated hero of World War II. Late word from Hollywood is that movie director Sam Peckinpah, known for films of violence, has died of a heart attack. I'm George Herman, CBS News in Washington. We'll have more news later on this CBS station.